welcome back to my channel a place to empower the next aspiring veterinarian if you are new here we talk all things pre-vet and vet school on this channel and if you would like to click that little red button below and join the family you are more than welcome to if you are not new here thank you so much for returning and coming back again to watch another video so today we are talking about the 10 highest paying careers in veterinary medicine and I just want to put this little disclaimer out there people who go into veterinary medicine are not in it for the money I repeat people who go into veterinary medicine are not in it for the money now it takes a long journey a lot of school long hours a lot of stress if you are looking for a get rich quick career this is probably not the career for you but if you have a passion for working with animals and want to be in this career field and want to know the 10 highest paid jobs out there valid question this is what this video is going to be all about so stay tuned let's get into it and let's get this back okay so i got all my information on ranking and salaries from indeed.com in their 2021 article talking about the various careers that you can have in veterinary medicine we're going to start with number 10 which is the least paid and work our way to the top to number one which is going to be our most paid career in veterinary medicine and I actually combined number nine and ten I'm going to talk about them as one because they are somewhat similar and that is your veterinary practice manager and hospital manager who make about sixty five thousand dollars a year this is for people who do not necessarily want to work directly with the animals but want to work on all the behind the scenes business duties of running a hospital in practice so again this is for people who work on scheduling payroll budgeting office maintenance all the HR duties and all the jobs that you would have behind the scenes that basically help a hospital in practice function the way they do because let me tell you without these people the hospital would probably fall apart because your average veterinarian or tech knows nothing about business so you need these people and they are good at what they do so the plus side with this career is you definitely don't need to go to school as long as a veterinarian or a tech you don't they don't require all that all the education that a veterinarian or a tech needs regarding animals because they don't work directly with the animals but if you still want to be in the atmosphere you still want to see the animals you still maybe get to like play with them every once in a while like you still want to be in that environment but not necessarily treating and working directly with the animals this would probably be the career for you so again number nine and ten we are working with veterinary practice manager and hospital manager $65,000 per year coming in at number eight we have our zoo veterinarian which in my opinion probably has one of the coolest jobs ever they are your veterinarian that can work with animals in the zoos aquariums animal sanctuaries and why they have the coolest job they could be stitching up a rhino they could be examining a gorilla doing surgery on a lion like it is so cool the animals that they get to work with which is your animals that you would see in the zoo but the downside I will say with this career is that it is probably the lowest paid specialties of veterinary medicine so you do that additional training in order to specialize in this career beyond vet school so doing your undergrad completing vet school and in addition to that you probably would need to complete a internship in a two to three year residency in order to get that certification and become a zoo veterinarian so that requires more money more time and it is one of the lowest paid specialties so that is the downside with that career but if you have enough passion for working with exotic animals this is the career for you so coming in at number seven is public health veterinarians who make about seventy six thousand dollars a year their job is super cool because they work with veterinarians at the state and local level and their primary job is to keep the human population and animal population safe from infectious diseases things such as malaria avian influenza ebola you know all these disease outbreaks that you have heard before 
a swine flu. Their job is to keep us safe. So if you're into epidemiology, which is the control of diseases and other things related to our health, then I would recommend this career for you. So again, this is public health veterinarians who make about $76,000 a year, coming at number seven. Next, coming in at number six is regulatory medicine veterinarians. They work in the USDA and our government to basically make sure that meat that we consume is safe. So they provide regulatory testing on animal meat intended for human consumption. They are testing for livestock diseases and disease causing pathogens such as salmonella bacteria and they are producing and completing safety reports as well. I am so thankful for them because this girl loves her meat and I want it to be safe for consumption. So I bet you didn't know that veterinarians are in our government and contribute to human health the way that they do. And it's, I mean, I am just so honored and so thankful that I can be in a career path that is so diverse. They have their hand in every aspect of our society and I just love that. So regulatory medicine veterinarians are a prime example of that. And if you want to contribute to our health and our society in the government in the way that they do, this is the career for you. I will say the downside with this is that you're not working with live animals, you're working with animal meat. So that is one downside to this career. So next coming in at number five is your small animal general practice veterinarians, which I want to do. So the average with this is all over the place, you'll read, but from my sources, it was $95 to $100,000 a year. Now, in the past, Due to COVID, the average I feel like has jumped up because the demand for veterinarians is so high right now. So I do feel like that has contributed to the increase in the average salary for veterinarians. But again, if you read different sources, this number will change. Small animal veterinarians, we are in vet offices, clinics, hospitals doing the normal duties of examining an animal, treating them for disease, performing surgeries, providing rehab for them. We are your general practitioners who are pretty much a jack of all trades, who can be examining the eyes, who can perform a C-section surgery, who looks at the skin. We have our hand in a little bit of everything regarding your small animals or general house pets and that's what I love about the career so much diversity I feel like every day is not the same and so I love that about it and that is number five next coming in at number four is military veterinarians who work in underdeveloped areas giving care to our military dogs and animals who are working in the conflict zones they also conduct animal research on the behalf of the US military. So super cool job field and that is military veterinarians at number four. So next coming in at number three is veterinary research scientists who make about $111,000 per year. Now I would recommend this career path for people who are really passionate about research and they basically provide their animal subjects basic care while performing their research and these animals are most likely and commonly rats so if you have um, a fear against rats I probably wouldn't recommend this for you but again you are providing care to these animals and while performing your research you know going through your hypothesis collecting your data and results and publishing your data that you get from your research coming in at number two are our professors of veterinary medicine who make about $166,000 per year and this is just what it sounds like those who teach advise and give mentorship to people and those who are going into the animal health care industry they work in your colleges and universities and yeah i mean not a bad job right so coming in at number two 166 thousand dollars per year so coming in at number one is your small animal veterinary specialist i didn't cover just one specialty with this because it is a broad range you can 
work in therial genealogy with reproduction, ophthalmology with the eyes, you know, surgery with working in soft tissue or orthopedics. Um, you could be a veterinary nutritionist. There's so many options that you can do depending on what you're passionate about. Basically anything that a human doctor can specialize in, a veterinarian can specialize in because you are working with the same body components. These salary ranges are all over the place and pretty much if you are specializing know that you will be in well into six figure range and it can go all the way up to specialties such as a nutritionist and ophthalmology who are in the 200 and 300,000 range. So that is one way to have a very, very great living as a veterinarian. The downside is you do have to do additional schooling beyond vet school. Same with human medicine, but you are probably going to go for an internship and then a two to three year residency. So it will take about including undergrad it will take about 12 years to complete your training and then you will become a specialist after you take the licensing exam and all of that but there's your number one top career in veterinary medicine so there you have it those are your top 10 most paid careers in veterinary medicine i hope you enjoy it i hope it was insightful for you to hear it's definitely fun for me to look up and i knew about all of them but it's just fun to look back over and i just want to make the point that having a dvm you can really do so much with it you can work in the military in the government you can work with diseases you can work in research you can be a teacher the possibilities are endless with uh, DVM and I hope this video really demonstrated that for you so again I hope you enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe of course and if there's any comments or anything you want to add please leave them in the comments below I'll be sure to read it and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one bye